Hi guys, it's time for my top 10 July favorites and surprisingly there is no blush in this video. The blush that I liked in July, it's all the same, nothing really new and I wanted to throw in some other products in my top 10 that don't get a lot of love on my channel. We're starting off with two lip products from the drugstore and this one is the L'Oreal Colorish Balm in the shade Rose Elixir. This shade is pretty much the same color as my lips, so you would think that it's a product that is like a clear lip balm, but I think it really evens out my lips and makes it look like it's my natural lips, but better. It is kind of like a my lips but better shade, and I really just like these color reach balms a lot. This is the Maybelline lipstick in Make Me Pink, and I haven't even had this one for very long. I've only gotten it in the last week, but I think it's worth putting in my July favorites because I've been wearing it a lot since I picked it up. I love nudie pinks, pinks in general, nudes, anything in that range, but this one has kind of a purpley undertone and I just think it looks really gorgeous on the lips. Only thing is I don't like the scent of Maybelline lipstick. Someone described it really well. They said it was like Play-Doh and it's totally what it's like. Otherwise, I really like their lipsticks. I think the formula is super creamy and never makes my lips look dry or patchy. I actually just wiped off the lipstick that I had previously, which was Max Velvet Teddy, and I replaced it with Make Me Pink just to show you what it looks like on my lips. It's pretty late and I'm really feeling it. So bear with me. The next product is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette in The Naked Truth. I have not really seen this style of an eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild before I got it. I picked it up at CVS because I had an emergency where I needed to fix up my eyeshadow and I usually have some type of little mini trio or eyeshadow palette in my makeup bag, but I didn't at that time. It has not left my makeup bag since I got it. So this is now a staple in my makeup bag. It's just my go-to. Next is this Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel. I have talked about this before, but I want to give it a little bit more love because I've officially decided that I like getting this more than the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I thought before I'm only getting this one because it's just so much cheaper and ideally I would like the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, but now I just really like this. I think it works so well. It really holds my brow in place. This is my favorite lash glue. It is the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. I think it just looks so much better than if you were to use the dual lash glue, which I do carry in my makeup bag but I prefer this. The con with this is that I can't put it in my makeup bag because it gets messy really fast. It starts to leak and there's like glue all around this area. It gets really gross, it sticks to things. So that's the only thing, otherwise, I love it and I highly recommend it if you have not tried this lash glue. Last makeup item, it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is another product that I have talked about before, but lately I have been loving it as my base for contouring. I actually have not worn it today, but I usually like to use my big powder brush from Real Techniques to kind of get this into that area just to kind of slightly start contouring because it is a little bit darker than my complexion. Before I've talked about this, I've said that it's just a good all over powder, but it's a little bit too dark for me right now. So I like to use it in the contouring area and I think it's a great base for my bronzer. Sounds weird, but I think it makes all the difference in photos and stuff like that. I've noticed that my skin just looks a lot nicer when I wear this powder. These powders are quite expensive, but I personally like them if you use them the right way. I really like dim light a lot, and I think there are just so many ways that you can use them. Now we're getting into hair, and I believe this is the first time that I'm talking about a product that I've received in my Ipsy Glam Bag in my favorites video. Ironically, it is my last Ipsy bag because yes, I actually canceled my Ipsy. I was raving about it for a while and then it started kind of getting a little iffy and it got to the point where it wasn't even worth the $10 a month for me anymore. If you are curious about what an Ipsy bag is and you're not really sure, I've had quite a few videos in, on my channel where I open my Ipsy bags and show you the products that I receive in there. but 
This is the product that I really liked from my Ipsy in the last couple months. And it is the Marc Anthony Dream Waves Beach Spray. On freshly cleaned washed hair, usually it's pretty hard to style it because it's just so squeaky clean. I like to put texture in it with this and then go in with my curling iron that I'm going to talk about in a second, or I guess my curling wand. And it makes my hair hold the curl so much better. I just like using this as that spray right after I wash my hair and it is back to not being as clean, but I really like it. And it smells like coconut. So speaking of my curling wand, this is, oh. So speaking of my curling wand, this is it right here. It is the Numi 3-in-1, I believe it's called the Titan 3-in-1. And I picked this up, I ordered it late last year, late 2013, and it comes with three barrels. I know a lot of girls have talked about this on YouTube, and that is what sold me. I ended up buying this, and I love it. At first, I wasn't used to it, so I still preferred the curling iron with a clamp, and then I finally was like, I can't use this anymore. It was one from Conair that you can pick up from Target at, for like 20 bucks and it just was not doing it for me anymore. It wasn't really curling my hair. My hair would fall flat pretty fast and I finally started to get the hang of this and now this is all I use. My hair is unfortunately up today. I was a little lazy but I did cut it again so it's about sh shoulder length right now and I basically take like one inch sections and wrap it around um, away from my face and then I just kind of mess it up at the end and it just gives really nice waves that kind of looks like you didn't really try hard but you did because it kind of takes a while but it is worth it. So after I have been talking about being so pale for the last several videos I finally picked up another one of these. This is the Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion for Light to Medium Color and it's a self-adjusting color for natural looking tan streak free all skin tones. I love this stuff. I finally picked up another one of these because I wanted a little bit more color, not too crazy, but a little bit more color on me and I am close to finishing up the one that I used last year. I prefer this over the Jergens one that became so popular like 10 years ago. Uh, to this day, even though it says that it has a great scent, I really don't like the scent. I prefer the fact that this is kind of odorless. It still smells kind of like you have a self tan going on, but it doesn't smell as much as the Jergens one. And when you have a nice tan going on, you want to sport some awesome sunglasses out in the sun. So these are the sunglasses that I have been wearing pretty much every day now. They're huge, I know. They're like taking up a lot of my face. Even though my face, I have a really big face. I have a big head in general. But these sunglasses are holding up pretty well for me. They are from Urban Outfitters. I have them in black as well, but this is the tortoise shell, and I've been wearing this one all the time. So although I have other sunglasses, I've been wearing these every single day in July. And that is it for my top 10 favorites in July. I hope you had a great month, and let me know in the comments, as always, what some of your favorites are, because I love your recommendations. I believe Maybelline Make Me Pink is one of the recommendations from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.